what's up everybody welcome back to another one still on that crappie game we got uh got our acc crappie sticks i got hayden joe out here he's been wearing them out too got a new crappie stick i don't know if we're gonna we're gonna try to go shallow here in a little while and maybe do some wade fishing but this is a 12 foot acc crappie stick um i got a 13 footer too but i didn't bring it this is a 5.9 ounces medium fast gs12 it's got that awesome handle on there but got a new reel that i'm messing with too piscuit fun i think that's how you say it it's the 1000 series it's been awesome got 10 pound braid on today and uh we've been wrecking them we've only been out here for about 20 minutes 30 minutes and uh in this spot anyway and we're killing them so i'm gonna film hayden catching a few on live scope so y'all can really see the live scope and what we're looking at uh he runs it completely different than I do, but he's used to that, so he can catch them really good on it. So I'm gonna film him catching a few, and then I'll throw the GoPro on. There he is right there. He's got an ACC 10-footer. Oh, come off. Come off. He's running a double rig. I'm running a, a quarter ounce single rig. So I'm trying not to give away the spot that I'm at. But I'll show you what we're looking at here. So he's just panning around like that fish is a crappie there's tons of crappie in this area there's a fit there's a crappie right in front of us so i'll try to point out his baits just to the left just shy of that fish he's probably not going to catch him but there's another crappie that popped up see that's his double rig right there just to the left of that fish which means it's closer to the boat and the crappie's about 10 foot off the bow but uh, the way he runs it, he runs his at 65, I run mine about 30, so mine would be stretched out the whole screen. So his fish look a little smaller on his screen just because he runs it um, so far out. But that's what he's used to seeing, he's an old bass fisher. Bass fisher. A bass hole. <laughs> but, so, basically all we're doing is just, you don't have to do a whole lot on the trolling motor. They kind of find you, you just got to turn your trolling motor and... See how he just barely turned his trolling motor and stuff's just showing up. So that could be a crappie, but it's probably a ball of bait, but that is a crappie underneath him. So he's gonna cast out 25 foot. You'll see his baits coming down right there, right on top of this fish. He'll stop it. And he caught it. Kind of hard to see in that video, but gives you the gist of it. Yes, sir. Another one for the box. Let's see if we can't get another one on here for you guys. So you just put that crappie in the box and there's another crappie sitting right here. Right in front of the boat. So he's got that 10 foot rod. It's real easy just to reach out there and drop it down. You don't have to cast much or pitch to them unless they're really out there. So there's a crop, big old crappie sitting oh, right that's there. A crappie, that's a Digging. so he's dropping down right here oh yeah right there so that crappie didn't go after it so it may i think it is a crappie though so, so what we're looking for is a big big ball it just looks like a football on there um you can tell gar and catfish are kind of long here comes his crappie jigs and right he's right on that fish right now and it's spooked so i think it is a crappie though i think he's catchable too there's two crappie they're stuck into the bottom yeah yeah so they just swam down to the bottom we'll keep searching find another fish there's a crappie right here kind of swimming you don't really want them when they're swimming like that but There's one right in front of us. See him dropping down, he's shy of it. You gotta push out. So here comes his jigs. Down. Uh, it scared the fish. So. See, he's right on top of the fish right now. You can't see it because his trolling motor's moving, but. He just went over a fish and it didn't eat. Coming up to a little ball of shad. There's a, good There's a big crappie sitting right there. 
So that crappie's at 20 foot. He's gonna cast out 20 foot right there. You can see his jigs. He always cast past him. There's a little brush pile. But he's gonna reel it to us. Just like that. This fish is moving, but he should eat if he gets it on top of him. Just like that. He should eat. Yep, chasing it. Got him. Big one. Keeper copy. Keeper keeper. All right, guys. That's how that's how we're doing it. So I'm gonna throw a GoPro on and go enjoy. We're gonna try to fill the box up. We got a fish fry coming up. So. All right, guys. So today I'm using a six six. It's the new six six one piece. I believe it's new. Three point five ounces. Awesome little rod. Uh, perfect for pitching, but. Got another one of these thousand series. It's the Viper X by Pisky Fun. Y'all tell me in the comments how to say that. Pis Pisky Fun. But I love it. Super smooth. Um, I mean, way smoother than any other crappie rigs I have. And I got 10 pound braid on there. So that one not eat. Hayden's on a fish right now. I'm gonna snipe him. What a pin tin to do. Got a little cloud cover coming in. I like it. All right, so I'm right on top of this fish. Let's see if he'll... He's sleeping. No I have to hit him in the head and wake him up. Up and down on one right there. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, he chased it for a second. Get back on him. He kind of, yeah, he kind of, he's either turned weird or it's, them two out there. yes sir, there's two right there, dropping right on their heads. Oh, a little high. Yeah, that back one might not be. About to find out. He's chasing it. it, he's chasing it, go up, 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 up. <laughs> dead sticking. I'm dead sticking. I mean, lost interest. We lost interest. All right, let me get in there. So. What me and Hayden like to do is throw different colors because if you get one fish that'll miss, he'll bite and miss. You can throw in the other guy in the boat, he can throw in and nine times out of ten that crappie's going to eat a different color jig. Where'd he go? I should be right on him, huh? I was thinking all the yeah. up. Thank you, Mike. I went past him. That's a big fish. Yeah, you better touch that sucker. There, there he goes. goes. Yes, him. sir. Another good one. Oh, that's, oh, a, that's a slap. Chunk, dude. dude. Look at that ACC bending over. Ten footer. All right, I love it when Hagen catches one, a fish because I can get on the trolling motor. The top jig. I'm over here. Right on it. There she goes. Oh, back coming back around. Gah. That's a white. Is it? No, it's a crappie. Big old crappie. Big old crappie. Big, old crappie. Big, old crappie. Sure. Big crappie. Oh gosh. Sackalate. Look at that 10 foot ACC. Just like that. Leave in the comments. Fat girl, fat girl. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Black? Black crappie. Getting on them rat grabber. They're 
she goes. Oh, Got that's her. a big one. That one. There we go. Swing her on in here. Made it back to the house. Nice little 50 rack. About to clean them up. Have a clean and crappy. Right behind the gill plate. Down that back one. And then knife down, flip it over. And that meat right off the skin. Same on this side. like that and Hayden will take turns ribbing them but basically all you do is take your little knife like this cut around those ribs get as much meat as you can and this old little crappie filet see y'all in the kitchen we are gonna make one of my favorite dishes when I'm cooking for myself so you can do this with a lot of things I do grits with any kind of meat so if I have fresh shrimp from the coast you can put you can put the shrimp in the grits today obviously we got crappie so it's just me eating angels with the boys they're kind of gonna be home a little late they already ate dinner so got three fresh clean crappie fillets got some critter glitter fish and fowl you can get this at moleman.net linked in the description it's awesome on fish and then black pepper so uh, you can get grits at any any grocery store uh, the ratio is one cup of grits for four cups of water. So I did a half a cup of grits and two cups of water. And then you basically just cook it like you would rice. Put a lid on it, let it do its thing. So I'm gonna season this fish up and we're just gonna fry it in butter on the skillet. So put a little critter glitter fish and fowl on both sides. And then you just lay this over your grits once the grits are done. But I'm going to show you a few tricks I do with the grits to make them taste extra, extra good. All right, so our grits are doing their thing, cooking up. I got some butter in a little frying pan. I'll have three fillets, so don't need to dirty up what I'm going to have to clean later. So, so we're going to lay these crappie fillets. Right in here. These crappie fillets melt in this butter and do their thing. Just cook them till they're brown on each side. I'm not necessarily blackening them, which is good as well. Um, blackening, you wanna cook them hot and fast and it really gets that bark on the outside of the fish. But I just want a nice, good crappie fillet over my grits. So what I add into my grits is cheese. Any kind of cheese you like, shredded cheese, all we have is this sliced cheese. This is Colby Jack. I like putting pepper jack in it, it's really good. But one slice of that cheese, once it gets almost done to where I can mix it, I'll lay a piece of cheese on top, then we'll mix it up, and then I'll add a little salt and pepper as well to the grid. And then we'll take our cooked crappie fillets and lay it over the top of the grids. And I'm telling you, it is such an easy meal to do, and it is delicious, and it doesn't take long at all. So about as long as it takes to cook a pot of rice is how long it takes to cook these grits up. It takes only about four or five minutes to cook these fish fillets up. So I'm gonna, I'll see y'all when these are both done. And we'll prep them and then we'll eat them and do a taste test. Fish is done, grits are pretty much done. I just added salt and pepper. So I'm gonna give that a good old mix around, just like that. And then we're gonna take our slice of cheese, let that melt in there. Once that cheese melts, We'll mix it around, load it on our plate, and then we'll throw our crappie fillets on top. And then we'll do a taste test. I'll leave it in the comments. If you've ever had grits, I feel like it's a very common thing, but at the same time, a very old traditional food. So y'all leave it in the comments if you like grits, and if you, if you do like grits, how do you like to cook them? Uh, because I do this a lot, and I'd love to know other ways to cook with using grits so let this cheese melt and then we'll get to tasting so you can't even tell that that cheese is in there now but that cheese just disintegrated and melted right into those grits so i'm gonna set y'all right here pour our 
grits in and a half a cup of grits is like the perfect serving size for one meal it's actually probably a little too much for one serving but i'm hungry so so now we will take our crappie fillets put them right on top just like that And that is what you call a delicious snack slash meal. Got a bunch of eggs from the chickens today. So, these are gonna be piping hot, but let's get a little bite of grits and fish together. Grits, crappie, fresh, fresh crappie. See what it is, one out of 10. Mm. So, so good. I'm really hungry right now. So this rating is probably not probably super accurate, but I'm gonna give this like a nine, six out of 10 for uh, cooking crappie and the ways that I like cooking crappie. Fried is probably my favorite. I'm giving this a hard second after fried. This is amazing. Cheesy grits with Butter fried crappie fillets. Mm. Hope you guys are enjoying the crappie content. Uh, there may be one more crappie video before I leave on a very cool special trip. Uh, so y'all stay tuned for that. Gonna have some awesome content coming from there. If y'all wanna support the channel, support my family, you can go to moltman.net. It's linked in the description. Shirts, hats, hoodies, spices, and Moltman Bait Co. Baits. Uh, until next time. If y'all enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.